In this series of videos, there are going to be eight of them, I'm going to show you a relatively complex box terminal doing a strip layout for it in LogoPress 3. We'll drag and drop the Parasolid file, import diagnostic starts automatically, and we'll got a bad, we've got a bad face. As you can see, we just healed it. Let's switch to shaded with edges and save the part in the terminal box folder and let's look at a section view so you can get an idea of what it looks like as you can see we've got a leg bent over inside of it and I'm going to bend that leg and over bend that leg in the strip layout we're gonna have spring back on that leg we'll be demonstrating because of the big radius. Again, a couple other views. You can see the coined edge over there where the terminal is going to be connected. And some wire grooves, wire crimping grooves to retain the wire. So we're going to use delete face to get rid of those first get rid of those three grooves and then also the coined edge where the part gets cut off and these will get wound onto a reel so there's no actual cutoff in the die so we're going to go grab the front plane here and create a split line on here I'm going to first flatten this part using LogoPress 3 blank so I'm going to get this part ready, split those, split those faces because running blank for stamp part. Let's change our material to a half hard copper or brass and let's lock that up. That'll be locked in both the X and Y direction. And lock that. And as you can see, there's the X triad, or the X, Y, Z triad. And there's the Y over there and the X. And we're going to lock that second one that selected edge 2, only locked in the Y direction. So it can't move left to right, so to speak it can only move away from the cutoff like it needs to. Do the same thing with these others. And that and then let's lock these as well. And these the opposite, the X will be locked. And this just gives us a much nicer blank because we're constraining it so it can't slide around as it's getting flattened. And let's compute that. And we're meshing the part. It goes very quickly. And let's show the strain and the stress. Thickness variation. And we can animate that. Of course, the curl on the end isn't animated properly, if you will, but you get the idea. Okay, so we've got our blank. And that gives us an idea of how far out the terminal is going to move when that offset by the wire crimps gets flattened out. So I'm deleting those features and have hid the blank. Inserting a station mark and name it. This is the finished part and this is also what the part looks like when we close it up at the bottom of the stroke when we close the sidewalls here. So that's the name of that station. Again, both when we close it 
and when it's finished coming out of the die. Okay, let's now split split this into separate bodies because again we need to be able to slide that body out or a couple of those bodies and we also need to unbend them. So to unbend them using LogoPress 3 unbending we can't have it connected to a funky complex shape. So we're dealing with just this solid body now. Tells us what the radius is, the angle, and we'll make it a move center partial unbend, change it to 70 degrees, or 20 degrees I should say. And then do the same with the other one. And a move center partial unbend at 20 degrees again. There we are. Okay, and that's then that station is done. So we insert a station mark. At the bottom of the stroke, what are we doing in this station? Let's see, we're the um, that inside leg is relaxed in this station. Remember we're going to be doing we're going to be doing spring back or an overbend on that leg. Actually before I can before I add that spring back I need to split this face. And this takes some pre-planning. Let's show our temporary axes and pre-select holding the control key and insert a plane there. Change it to 5 degrees like so. And then we're going to use that. The plane is selected right now in the tree. And we'll insert a curve split line and we can do this on the inside or the outside of the material. It doesn't matter. I'll choose the outside, right click to hit OK, hide my plane, and turn off my temporary axes. I'm doing a couple things with the pull down here, but normally I do a lot of things with shortcut keys. And unbending by steps, and here we're going to overbend the part. So under spring back overbend, variable angle and variable radius. And now watch when I, we've got a 034 radius there. I'll set it like this so you can see it well and actually even change the display style to hidden lines visible. And when I change this to 5 degrees and hit tab, you can see that the radius changed to about 032. There we are. And now that station is done. So what is this station called? We are overbending five degrees. And we'll continue on video number two.